If there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, who still wonders if the dream of our founders is alive in our time, who still questions the power of our democracy, tonight is your answer. It's been a long time coming. But tonight, because of what we did on this day, in this election, at this defining moment, change has come to America. On the night of November 4th, 2008, Barack Obama became the first black person elected to the highest office in the land. He reminded the country and the world of what democracy makes possible because of the people who got out the vote, who organized registration drives, stood in line for hours to cast their ballots. Because of them, change arrived. The following year, President Obama nominated Ketanji Brown Jackson to the U.S. Sentencing Commission. Three years later, he nominated her to the federal bench. And today on the White House South Lawn, Judge Jackson reminded us of that history, which along with many others, many other building blocks, helped lay the foundation for her Supreme Court confirmation. I am also ever buoyed by the leadership of generations past who helped to light the way. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Justice Thurgood Marshall, and my personal heroine, Judge Constance Baker Motley. They and so many others did the heavy lifting that made this day possible. And for all of the talk of this historic nomination and now confirmation, I think of them as the true path breakers. I am just the very lucky first inheritor of the dream of liberty and justice for all. No one does this on their own. The path was cleared for me so that I might rise to this occasion. And in the poetic words of Dr. Maya Angelou, I do so now while bringing the gifts my ancestors gave. I I am the dream and the hope of the slave. Judge Jackson worked hard for this moment. She graduated from Harvard with honors twice. Clerked for Justice Stephen Breyer, worked as a public defender, and served as a judge for 10 years. But she credited the pathbreakers who came before her because their contributions to this moment are a matter of fact. Constance Baker Motley, the first black woman to sit on the federal judiciary. Motley worked on civil rights cases alongside Thurgood Marshall at the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. Motley was integral to the outcome of Brown v. Board of Education, striking down the separate but equal doctrine. Judge Jackson's own parents attended segregated schools. Martin Luther King, the face and voice of the civil rights movement that Motley helped fight for in the courtroom. Thurgood Marshall, the jurist who was confirmed despite the objections of Southern segregationists in the Senate as the country's first black Supreme Court justice in 1967, three years after the Civil Rights Act passed. All of that and more is the heavy lifting that Judge Jackson says made this day possible. And all of those stories are intertwined in ways that make America a better democracy. They made the highest achievements in this country a little more accessible to anyone who dares to reach for them. Because of what they did in their days, change came to America today. On these, and these gains matter. They build over time. They make this country able to live up to its ideals for the whole world to see, including our adversaries. None of this history is far behind us. It was present today as Judge Jackson spoke in front of a house built by enslaved people. It has taken 232 years and 115 prior appointments for a black woman to be selected to serve on the Supreme Court of the United States. But we've made it.
We've made it, all of us, all of us. And, and our children are telling me that they see now more than ever that here in America, anything is possible.